All right, this is it, folks. I know this is the moment you've all been waiting for. The big opera segment. Let's do this. Come on, Celez. Let's do it. Yes. Get ready. Let's do it and don't blow it. La, la, la. The forces of the West fell and Maria's castle was taken. Prince Rolls of the East took her hand by force, but she never stopped yearning for Draco. Here we go. Oh, my hero, so far away now, will I ever see your smile? Oh, yeah. Love goes away like night into day. It's just a fading dream. I'm the darkness. Yes! You're the stars. Our love is brighter than the sun. Yeah. For eternity, for me there can be only you, my chosen one. Must I forget you? A solemn promise will autumn take the place of spring. Yeah. What shall I do? I'm lost without you. Speak to me once more. Oh, oh. Sing for me, my angel of music. <clears throat> it's the ghost. Come, Maria, follow my lead. And so we must dance. Yes. We must dance. Dance and plants. Ha ha ha. Whee. Got the flowers. Go all the way up. <clears throat> Here we go. Chevy Chase to me a dollar asking what happened to the don't blow this streams. Dude, why are you asking me? You should talk to Howard and yeah, yeah, he stopped doing that when I lived in Connecticut still, I think, so. <clears throat> we must part now. My life goes on, but thy heart, it won't give you up, no. Ere I walk away, let me hear you say, I meant as much to you. Oh, so gently, as you touched my heart. I will be forever yours, oh yes, come what may, I won't age a day, I'll wait for you always, oh, 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 oh. Prince Ross is looking for a dance partner. Leave the past behind. Our kingdom is adopting the spirit of the East. Son of a bitch. PW Dubs to the dollar says, what happened to your burp snort montage you said you were going to play instead of Christmas music? I was looking forward to that. Ah, uh, wouldn't you know it? My song editor broke, man. I couldn't do it. All right. We are halfway to the tip's goal, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for all your support this week. Halfway to the goal. All right, and now it's time to dance and prance. Dance, prance. It's time for romance in the opera hall. So we dance. Ho, ho, you know. Oh, well done, Celez. Well done. God bless us every, wait, what's this? I owe you one, so I'm gonna jam up your opera, Ultros. Uh-oh, better tell the Empresario. 
All right. Better tell him something is going on, going on. What? Uh oh. Look at this. The survivors of the West attack. What? Impossible. Oh, attack. Nah. <laughs> Let's get them, boys, with our nice purple outfits. <laughs> we dyed these for weeks to prepare for this moment. Wait! Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh, ma, Maria! Oh! Ha ha ha! you're alive! Oh my God! I've waited so long for you. Ooh, I knew you'd come! Maria will finally have to become my queen For the rest of my life I'll keep you near, oh yes It's a duel! Ha 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 ha! Yes! Yes! Shout out to Scottwell47 who tipped me five dollars. Shout out to P-Dubs who tipped me a dollar and said, I was the thousandth tip. I deserve some type of prize. Christmas thumbs up. There you go, bro. All right. So now we're getting to the really, really dramatic, hectic part of the game. I hope you guys are ready for this. Are you guys ready? It's time. How many Destructor Opera? Wait, with that? Here we go. Wahaha! Let's see if Maria can shrug this one off! A four ton weight! Yeah, it's heavier than I thought! It'll take me five minutes to drop it! We have a second to lose! Talk to the man in the room to the far right, he'll help you up there! It's as good as done! Let's go! Da -da 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 -da. We gotta hurry, we only get five minutes to beat this part! Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Okay, the impresario asked me to have you press the switch on the far right. And this one. And this one. Oops. Oops. Uh, whoops. Not supposed to be out here. Whoa, whoa, ha, whoa, ha, 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 ha. Okay. Surprise. All right. Now let's go do what we're supposed to do. Here we go. Time is short. We must run. Here we go. Not to defeat the enemy. We must defeat all trust. He's a big weenie. All right, we got to fight enemies up here. And we only have four minutes to do this, so... Oh my god, more showed up. I forgot about that. I think you have to kill the one in the middle if you don't, more show up. I almost forgot about that, so holy shit. Okay. No time to read this shit. Locking the level, who gives a shit? We only have three minutes left. If you run out of time, you have to do the whole thing over. It's a game over and the whole opera starts over. You have to do the whole thing from the start. Alright. No, no, no. This is why Fire Dance is critical, or having Edgar to use his auto crossbow is critical in this part. Without it, you're pretty boned. But Fire Dance makes this part a little bit easier at least. Oh god. Got it. Okay. Here we go. We must hurry up. Gotta learn Bolt 2. It's too bad we don't have time to switch up the fucking Espers. We really don't. We gotta hurry. <laughs> Another fight. Yeah. 
Very... Vince doesn't like this segment. Yeah, it's very tense. A very tense segment with Race Against Time. Okay. Go, go, go. Oh, we learned Float. Like, literally, we can switch all the Espers now, but we don't have time. We don't have time to do it. We have to rush. Okay. We're about halfway there. go. Phew, rats! Ha! Wah! Well, we made it, so that's good. Huh. Ouch. The whole crowd's like, what the hell happened? Huh. Huh. Disaster! But the two heroes are flat and the upper's over. Who'll win the girl? Huh. Huh. Snap out of it. Neither Draco nor Rolfs will save Celeste. Ha-ha! I luck! The world's premier adventurer will save her. Oh boy, what awful acting. Silence! You're in the presence of Octopus Royalty! A lowborn thug like you could never defeat me! Hmm, well, might as well make the most of this. Music! Ha-ha! And now we got a boss fight. Impromptu boss fight. Long time no see! You've been cha- you've changed! Did you miss me? You know what, he just learned Bolt too. This is gonna be like insane damage, watch. Nice! 998 damage! Cause this is weakness, this is lightning. So good thing Gal learned Bolt too. Acid Rain! Da, 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 da. Shocking! What an unlucky day! Adios! And yes, that's it. Because they're not expecting you to have Bolt 2. So you're supposed to take, like, big damage from him. But no, you can't use him to attack because I destroyed him with Bolt 2. Okay, then. Uh, just a darn minute! Uh-oh. Uh-oh! What a performance! Ha ha! Woohoo! Setzer. Setzer says, I'm a man of my word, music man! That's him? What a reversal! Thinking he's Locke's new queen, Maria is instead nabbed by Setzer! What fate lies in store for her? Stay tuned for part two! <laughs> oh my god. And that's it. That's the whole, that's the whole, uh, opera. Pretty cool. All right, so PW Dubs to me a dollar said you should really put copyright protection on why am I toxic? This is how you don't play. You make money if anyone tried to bring a profit using those terms. And Howard showcases to the dollar said when are you playing the Disney games? I have no idea. I do own them now, which is great. And I can play them whenever I feel like. But I'm not going to be probably doing them. Uh, anytime soon. I'm in the midst of many other things right now, but thank you guys for the tips. All right, I'll deal with you in a minute. Because <laughs> he thinks it's Maria. He doesn't know it's Celeste. This was their plan all along. 
Ha ha! Nice. What a performance. Enough already. <laughs> but, but this is the tough one. Part two begins now. Uh, where's Setzer? He's coming. Well, who are you? You're not Maria. Setzer, we need your help. We have to go to Vector. We need this ship to get there. Look, if you're not Maria, I don't want you aboard. <clears throat> Wait! We were told your ship is the finest vessel in the world. And that you were the world's most notorious gambler. My brother is the King of Figaro. Cooperate and you'll be well rewarded. Come here. Yeah? Don't misunderstand me. I'm still not sure if I'm going to help you. Okay, well, here we are. So, by the way, if the party's together, we should switch up to Espers now. Yeah, because now, basically everyone here, I think, maxed out all their stuff. So we should switch them all around. So, Gao... Yes, he learned everything. So he should get... Hold on. I'm trying to remember how to remove an Esper. I forget how to remove them. How do I freaking remove it? It's not select. There's a way to remove an Esper, and I can't remember what button it is. How the hell do you remove it? Shit. It's not start. Oh my god, I can't remember the button to remove an Esper. I need to be able to do this, or else I'm screwed. Yeah, I know you can do it, but fuck, it's not working. Looks like you need an available Esper to remove an Esper? No, you can totally remove an Esper, I know you can. I want her to have I want her to have Kieran back. I want him to have Stray. I want Gao to have Siren. And I want Locke to have Rama. <clears throat> well, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just switching between. I seriously can't figure out the button to make them remove the Esper. There, I know there's a way to do it. The thing is, once you have enough espers, it doesn't matter. You can just easily switch on a crappy, weak esper, and it's fine. But I know you can remove an esper. I can't remember how to do it, so we're just going to have to switch between them for now. <clears throat> okay. All right, so now everyone has their esper set, I believe. So he's got Stray. Yeah, he'll be learning the Imp Muddle and Flow. Okay. All right, we should be good now. So this is the first time we're in the airship. Look, he has his own, his own casino room in the airship, which is pretty hilarious. He's supposed to be the infamous gambler, right? Look at this guy. Unequip party members? Oh, there you go. So if you say all members, it unequips all inventory, including espers, including their actual uh, weapons and items. It unequips everything so that you can shuffle the members around. There you go. That's cool. Look at this. We're on the top, but we can't do this yet, but I like the music. I like the flying music in this game for sure. Okay. Now let's go talk to Setzer. Whew, the Empire's made me a rich man. Stop thinking of yourself. Many towns and villages have been smashed by the Empire. The Empire is also totally rotten. It's using magic to enslave the whole world. The Empire will end up owning you. The Empire? Evil? We all hate the Empire for the same reasons. That's why. You know, you're even more studying than Maria. Huh? Enough! If you, if Celeste becomes my wife, I'll help. Otherwise... What? Are you stupid? 
We haven't any choice. What? Yes, it's settled. But I have conditions. We decide with a coin toss. If it's heads, you'll help us. If it's tails, I'll go with you. Well, Mr. Gambler? Oh-ho! Fine, I accept. Listen to yourself. Celeste, you can't become his wife. You just can't. Ready? The coin flip of destiny. <clears throat> I win. Now honor your part of the bargain. How unusual. A coin with identical sides? I think you've been hustled, Mr. Gambler. Ha! How low can you get? I love it! Alright, I'll help you. Nothing to lose but my life. My life is a chip in your pile. Ante up. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Very nice. Yeah, I got rid of that piece of shit troll. I'm doing a fucking dickhead in the stream chat. He's gone now. Bye bye, bitch. Shout out to X Venom Symbia who just reset for 19 months. Thank you, X Venom Symbia, for the ongoing support. This unwieldy looking ship really moves. Could it crash? When things fall, they fall. It's all a matter of fate. The ship's going to stick out like a sore thumb. Better land some distance away. <clears throat> right. I'll wait on board in case of an emergency. All right. We're heading to the Empire. The land of the Empire. This is a cool scene right here. They do it really dramatically. I like it. Look how ominous this looks. The Evil Empire. No, I'm not watching The Witcher on Netflix. I don't have Netflix anymore, X Venom Symbi. I got rid of it. So I don't have it. I can't watch it. <clears throat> All right. So we landed right near a town. We might as well check out the town and see what the heck this is, right? Olbrook. Three cheers for the Empire. This is Olbrook, the occupied city. Wow, he sounds very excited about that. Weapon shop? I'm a scholar of weapons. 1,000 years ago, during the War of the Magi, a two so-called Atma weapons existed. One changed a person's power into a sword, while the other was a monster bred for mass destruction. So, the reason that's important is because there indeed will be two Atma weapons we will encounter in the game. Okay, then. <clears throat> Poison Claw is not as good as the claw he has equipped. The EP sword is pretty good. But, we're using the Warning starting from the back row, so I probably don't want to use that. Blossom's only for, for Shadow, who's not with us. So there you go, we're not going to buy anything. <clears throat> How far in am I? This is roughly, I'd say, about uh, 10, 10 to 11 hours in to the game. 10 to 11 hours. <clears throat> You'll find some good weapons and items in Zen and Miranda. Everything belongs to the Empire. No entry to the port. Let's see what's in the, sh the armor shop. Empty. Even more empty. Okay. La 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 la. Headband we've already uh, been able to get. The Bard's Hat. Who? I think I'll buy one or two. I don't know if it's going to be any better than what I've got. I'll buy one and we'll check it out. Mithril Vest, we're okay with that right now. And we already got everything else. Let's see if the Bard's hat's any good. <clears throat> I don't know if it's going to be better for, like, Sabin or for Celez. Well, right now she's freaking completely empty. The Magus hat gives her more magic power. Alright, we're going to go with the Magus hat for her. The Bard's hat, way less evade. But more magic defense and more magic block. Hmm. Hmm. It's a tough decision. I think I'm going to stick with the green beret. 
Maybe I'll give it to him. I'm gonna give it to him. I'll give him the bard's hat. There we go. Yeah, he needs all the buffs that the headband gives. Okay. I don't know what happened to stream chat. Like, no one's talking all of a sudden. I don't know why. Like, everyone just stopped talking. You guys were all excited during the opera scene. Now the opera scene's over and everyone's quiet as hell. The Emperor Gestalt himself asked me to do his portrait. What if he doesn't like it? <clears throat> well, then you're dead. Haha. <laughs> what else? Vincent says I'm talking. Yes, what's up, Vincent? You know, you should be the first person in three minutes who said anything. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> Ooh, what's that? There's something going on behind us here. Tim says he's watching football also. It's boring now. Catch me because it's boring now. Well, that's because we're in a new town. Don't worry, we're going to go into the Empire soon. Then the game picks up again. A really cool story segment coming up. All right, you know what? We have all this stuff that, yeah, the only one I don't have is the amulet. What does that do? Apparently, it's poison, dark, and zombie. Pretty good. It's a three status effect protection, but I'm not going to bother with that right now. <clears throat> okay. Ba -doom, ba -doom. Another elixir. I got so many elixirs from clocks in this game. All right, look where we are. Huh? Wow, whoopee. Sure, no problem. Sure, no problem. You're not the Empire. Get out of here. In any case, you're probably broke. Wow. What a nice thing to say. Get out of the way. Nuts. These soldiers are absolutely insane. <clears throat> this cafe is like an Imperial Soldier's Dormitory. Uh... Tom Brady child abuse allegations? The first I heard of that one. I didn't hear anything about that. They say there's something valuable to the East. The Empire built a base there and no one may enter. Huh. We have to bribe the troopers to do business here. Mess with the Empire and... Wow. What a great place to live, huh? Vector, capital of the Empire, is at the center of this continent. Scholar of magic, monsters on this continent have only weak magical powers. Huh. Potion. <clears throat> Nothing going on in here. Okay. I think there's an item on the other side. Maybe not. Oh, there's an item. Oh, yeah, look. Was that a staircase? No. Okay, never mind. I thought there was a staircase back there, but I guess not. I thought there was a hidden item or something. Alright, so I think we're pretty much done here. Now that we see this occupied town, we can now head to the Empire and try to storm Vector. Of course, there'll be all new item, uh, monsters on this island as well, so I gotta be careful. Crap, Dizzle says, any thoughts on playing the old Halo games? But when the Halo collection came out, I played... Wasn't it Halo 1 I played the campaign of? I think so. Um, I don't know if I ever played the campaign of Halo 2. I think I played Halo 1. Okay. Well, yeah, would I ever go back to play them? Probably not. They're very dated games. Quite frankly, they're super easy. You can literally run through those games and never fight any enemies. This is how outdated the design is. <clears throat> okay, I guess we gotta walk around. See what we can find. So over here they mentioned there's a base, a secret base or something. No casual go, I haven't seen The Witcher on Netflix. I don't have Netflix. I keep telling you guys, I don't have Netflix. Nice, they're weak to ice because they're in the desert. If you guys haven't noticed, the enemies here are much tougher. They're doing more damage and stuff. Because <clears throat> they're a new island. Alright, good experience. Some magic points, too. Halo 2 on Legendary is the hardest Halo I've ever played. Grave Mind literally drops you 
Into the alien's throne room, says Manuel Muertos. Look where we are. The Imperial base. Oh, we have to fight. Great. Commander, oh shit. This is not good. Both sides. No, it doesn't. Shut up, bitch. Oh my god, it still didn't die. Finally got one. Pincher attack, screwing us over. <clears throat> Stole tense, that's good. Muted lock of all people. Oh, nice. So he has Fire Knuckle. If he hits with Fire Knuckle, it'll randomly cast the Fire Spell, which it just did. Celeste so gained a level. Saban gained a level. Nice. Okay. All right. Good stuff. Am I playing Doom on Nightmare difficulty tomorrow? Hell no. Chucked out. So you can fight these enemies. You get good experience for fighting them, but then you get chucked out anyway. So there's really no point in even doing anything there because you can never really get inside. Right now, anyway. Okay. I got chucked the fuck out. Alright, we're heading north. To, hopefully, to Vector. these things. Fire dance! Chick lip? I just realized they're called chick lip, like chicken lips. They're called chicken lips. What the hell? Chicken lips. Good chicken lip. Someone had said they thought it was a mistake for me to get rid of Netflix because Disney Plus seems to be more like a one-trick pony, while Netflix has more variety of content. Well, yes and no. Like, I'll be honest, I almost never watch Netflix. You want to know what I've watched on Netflix in the last year? A year ago, I watched that Halloween show. What was it? The Haunting of, of Hill House or whatever. And then this year, I watched Stranger Things. And that's all I've watched on Netflix. I'm serious. The movies on there, I don't think are very good. So I see, I watched like nothing on there all year. Why the hell do I need Netflix? You know? Ralph and Joker. Ralph and Joker. Captain Bao ha ba says I could watch Evangelion or Irishman. Two things I don't want to watch. I have no interest in watching. <clears throat> I need Netflix for The Witcher. You're right, but I don't care about The Witcher. I don't care about the show. <laughs> Timbo Slice Cheers said, I also got rid of Netflix. Seems like they removed things a year later. Um, go, hey, look what's coming to next Netflix things were removed prior. Yeah, they do remove a lot, it's true. Like, they don't keep stuff on there forever. 
a lot of stuff they get on there ends up getting removed within, uh, you know, about a year or two, I've noticed. For me, it's just like, there's a ton of fucking movies on there that are garbage. Like, garbage movies I would never want to watch. Everything I tried to watch on there was boring or shitty. Or old movies I don't want to watch, you know? Galgan the level, that's good. But I just, when I first got Netflix, it was like really awesome. And then over like a year of having it, I realized there's like maybe a, a couple shows a year I even care about that I want to watch on there. And everything else is kind of meh. So I got rid of it. This is not Vector. We're at the town of Zen. The Empire strings of anyone who opposes it. Our royal family was slaughtered by the Empire. Damn. Most of the town's Jews were led off to serve as Imperial troopers. My mother said it's dangerous. Yeah, she's right. Everything belongs to the Empire. Well, fuck you. You got anything new in this town? Uh, not really. It's pretty much the same stuff. The only difference is the boomerang, but I want to use the double thief knife so that way I can steal twice, so. Okay. It's all the same stuff. Yeah, it's really all the same stuff from the other town. Nothing new. Damn. Dick Farts. What a name. Cheered as so if Final Fantasy VII is greater than six. Listen, you can have your personal preference. I'm okay with that. I like six way better. So friendly advice. There's a weapon called the Guardian. It can move, but it's very... It can't move, but it's very powerful. Run if you meet it. Okay. You're in the way. Get Mess with the Empire and... What's going on over here? I heard there's a huge gate even inside the cave to the east. My kid's still not home, even though he said he was dangerous outside. It's a... Yeah, it's a stupid kid. Sliding up and down the railing. Alright, well, it seems like there's nothing you can do here right now. Kind of pointless to be here. <clears throat> okay. Alright, going. Whoa, look at these bugs. The weed feeders. That's right, Big D says, I think 7 was most people's first Final Fantasy. That's why the hype's so big. Agreed. A lot of people, like, until the PlayStation, the era of the PlayStation, video games weren't as mainstream as they became when the PlayStation came out. And, it, oh, there's a, a, one of the major RPG franchises that's always only been on Nintendo is jumping ship to the, to the PlayStation. It's in 3D for the first time. It's going to have higher quality visuals and music. Like, that's why people fanboyed out about it. In reality... I feel the game has a lot of things that are inferior to the previous games, but because it was the first one on PS1, the first one a lot of people played, that's why people hide in such, hold it in such high regard. <clears throat> Kimbo Slice Jr. said, Telltale says they're making sure Redon Company has no crunch-free environment. The old company did. Are you having to have the studio back? I mean, yeah. Telltale games were good. It sucks the whole company fell apart the way it did because of horrendous management. That's all it is, horrendous management. They fucked the company. It wasn't the games. The, the management fucked everything up. You could tell the dev team was incredibly talented. Captain Bowzai Bao says, You know, that actually reminds me of the, the meltdown people had when Final Fantasy XIII was announced as multi-platform. I remember. Locke has learned Bolt and Gao learned Sleep. Very nice. How am I today, Ashley Yorkman? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Having a lot of fun. With the Final Fantasy VI stream. That's right. One button dash says Final Fantasy VII was originally planned for the Ultra 64 when it was scrapped. There's actually a few early alpha photos of the game you can find. That is correct. So the Ultra 64 was supposed to be a CD-based console that Nintendo was going to make. Now apparently it was going to have cartridge capability for like an added RAM and stuff. But the whole console just was trashed. And of course there's multiple different stories of why and stuff. 
but... <clears throat> The truth of the matter is that Nintendo could have been the first CD-based major console to become successful, but they blew it, and because of that, the technology for the Ultra 64 was then turned into the PlayStation 1. <clears throat> Vote Democrat asks, when will we get more Sly Cooper playthroughs? I don't know. I'm sure you guys probably want to see 2 and 3 again eventually, and, you know, I, I think I have the collection, so I guess when, you know, whenever we get to it. Timbo Sly says they're making a new Jackass movie. Uh, Jackass 4, we'll be seeing it. Did you watch MTV back in the day? I, I did watch some MTV back in the day. Not a lot, because I hated when they went real, like, re the real world and shit like that. I hated those fucking shows with a passion. I really did. And because of that, I really didn't care about MTV. My cousin, who lived with me at the time, was heavily into MTV, so it was always on the TV. And I was like, oh my god, I gotta watch this stupid dribble crap. Um, but... Uh, did I watch some Jackass? I saw some of it, but I never really watched the show hardcore or anything like that. Okay. Cut. One button dash says, no way they're making a new Jackass. Steve-O is done doing crazy stuff. Yeah, you know, Steve-O, when he completely destroyed his body and now he needs to have a catheter in his dick to even piss properly anymore. I'm pretty sure that was the end of it for him. He completely destroyed his body. <laughs> what happened to his dick? He got he got damaged. He got hurt doing a stunt. And he had to have major operations and shit. And I remember he was on the Howard Stern show and he was like, dude, I'm so fucked up right now. I can't do this stuff no more. Like, you know, I love doing it when I did it, but I destroyed my body for this. <clears throat> Dragon boots or Dragoon boots? I actually think those are, that's a rare item I just got. I think so. Locking the level. Gotta learn slow. Save and learn muddle. Nice. I gotta see what these Dragoon boots are. Changes fighting to jump. So instead of fighting, they turn into a Dragoon. You jump, and then you land on the enemy. That's kind of cool, but I don't think I have anyone who I would want that to happen with right now. So I'm just going to save him. Yes, sir, I remember when Steve-O went to WWE and Umaga destroyed him, Venom Simeon. I definitely remember that. <laughs> Something over here I want to check out. I think you could actually move around, now that I'm thinking about it, I think you could move around the Rage abilities to take the ones you like and move them to the top of the list, so that way they're always there for you instead of having to go through the whole list. I think you can. Chunky Jack cheered and said, I'm feeling better now. Well, I'm glad to hear you're feeling better, Chunky Jack. Well, huh. Democrat says, now I've heard that Ernie Lang's soaking coke, starting coke again. The guy never learned. Dude, if that is the truth, that's awful. That guy's life is already destroyed. He's gonna fucking kill himself, man. Timbo Slice Jr. said, You and Cat got anything planned for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day? I hope you guys can get some time together. With no stress to relax. Yes, Christmas Eve, we're actually going out to do our normal day out, but a lot of stores close early, so we're gonna try to get stuff done as soon as possible. And we're gonna have a nice dinner out at an Asian restaurant. Then on Christmas Day, we're cooking a Christmas ham with some other stuff, and we're just gonna relax. We're gonna watch some Christmas stuff. We're just gonna have a good day together. Nice relaxing day. No stress. What we need. A no stress day. Lock room poison. And we're all learning all the spells. Excellent. 
No, I don't FaceTime with my parents. Um, they don't have an Apple device to FaceTime on. And I tried doing, like, webcam talk with them, and they could never figure it out. Like, I, a few, a couple times when I moved, I tried to do it, and it just didn't work out for whatever reason, so we gave up on it. We just talk on the phone now. So what is down here? This isn't back in the center of the town here. Nazgor says, hope you have a great holiday. Thank you, Nazgor. You as well. I hope you have a great uh, holiday this week. You know, I'll be with you guys every day this week, except Monday, or uh, except Tuesday and Wednesday, so. Heavy Rain says, do you ever consider redoing some of your early playthroughs of direct capture? Lots of good stuff that's worth replaying. Sure. If people had any recommendations, by all means, let me know. I have gone back over the years. I replay games like Heavy Rain. The Grand Theft Auto series. I'm doing Final Fantasy VI right now. Redoing it. So there you go. <laughs> Any plans for New Year's Even Day? No, because we don't even know, like, if Cass the work or whatever yet. So we have no, we haven't even thought about New Year's yet. We want to get, back, get past Christmas first. Okay. Okay. Turg De Delphi says, Do you have a child, even the most ancient parents seem to figure out the video call quickly? Yeah, I don't know. I thought they would. Like, I that was I had all intentions that when I came out here and started living in Washington over five years ago that we would do, like, video calls and stuff. And we tried to do it twice, and each time there were technical difficulties to the point. I was like, we're just going to call on the phone. Fuck this. What's the point? <laughs> What's the point? Yes, nice. Thank you very much, Vincent. Very nice thing to say. He says, you know, we care for you and Cal, but you and Cal have a great day off and a Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, here we go. So here's the third town on this island. The town of Miranda. <coughs> Miranda used to be the, this kind of most beautiful town. Look what the Empire's done to it. These troopers are crazy. How long can things keep going on like this? No, not everyone drives a Jeep in Washington. In fact, I don't think I've really, I've rarely seen any Jeeps out here. I rarely see... Oh, shit. There's actually better stuff here. We've got Mithril Mail. Yeah, the Mithril Mail is unique to here. I don't think I've seen it up to now. The thing is, though, it's going to lower the other unique stats. Like the magic boost and stuff, so I'm not going to even buy it for now. Oh, man. Ugh. My son's being forced to serve in the Empire's army. You should hear the gossip floating around here. This town is ours to play with. Zen and Albert too fell to the Empire. Place all bets here. They're doing dog fights. This is our only means of recreation. Scrap! Phew. My dog's the fiercest. Wow. Wow. Pretty messed up. Nice highlighted message, Chunky Jack. It's a bunch of gibberish. Look at this. Mithril Pike, Trident, Poison Claw, EP, and Boomerang. So there's actually some unique weapons here. I think I'll buy a Trident for later. Just in case. Maybe I'll buy, like, two swords. Two EP swords. I don't want the boomerang, though. I want to keep using the thief knife. Yeah, that's right, Frenolith. Dog fights in a children's game. I told you, this really isn't a children's game. This game is intended for teens or older. It's actually not meant to be played by kids. It has very big adult themes. Now, if I remember, there's a very important house right here we need to visit for, for a story. Here we go. My love hasn't sent me back any letters since he's been gone. I'm sick with worry. So what this is, if you remember, there was the injured soldier in that other town on the other side of the world, and he said, man, I want to write my love, but I'm too crippled to do it, right? So what happens is later on in the game, once you get the ability to free roam the world, you can go back and forth between these two towns and transport letters and stuff to them, which is kind of neat, and uh, it adds to the story. If you do it enough, you get a really rare item. You want to get hitched? Oh my god. I should know. What the hell? 
Alright. But this I get over two weeks short of my famous moments from this decade? Dude, I keep telling you guys I can't do that kind of shit. <clears throat> I can't just, out of the top of my head, think of the amazing moments of the past ten years. That's crazy, man. I can't do that. Manuel Muerto says, My parents thought Conker's Bad Fur Day was a kid's game because it had animals in it. Oh, man. Definitely not a kid's game. I wonder if I have a better ability, a better rage ability than the ones I'm using. Because I'm only using two right now, but I don't know any better ones. I wonder if I have better ones. I just haven't tried them. Oh, he knows Bolt 2? What a bastard. Ow! I narrowly survived. What an asshole. Hello, John the Fool. <clears throat> Captain Bozai, I already said I would maybe consider doing something like Best Games of the Decade, but if I did that, it wouldn't have video footage. It would take way too much work to be downloading and trying to edit the video footage for it, but what I would do is just talk. So maybe I'll do something like that. We'll see. Alright, so we gotta go to Vector now. We did everything else on this island but go to Vector. So let's go to Vector. <laughs> Fire Dance! For some reason, the bugs that look like they're red, which means that they're probably, like, resistant to fire, are actually weak to fire. So, I guess I shouldn't complain, since Fire Dance destroys them. <clears throat> okay. I agree, Nazgord, this game has really nice music. I love the music of this game. No, I have no interest in playing Yu-Gi-Oh games. None. It also doesn't make sense. Why are they called Weed Feeders, right? Why are they weed feeders? Should they be weed eaters? More likely they're supposed to be called weed eaters, and yet again, it's another thing they screwed up with the translation, I bet. Okay. Nice. So you know what's funny? When I first played this game, like for the first many playthroughs, I always thought that when he does fire dance, Sabin, those are fireballs flying around. They're not. If you look close, they're sprites of his body. Only they're colored red. So it's supposed to be like his body heated up somehow. And did this crazy ability. 